Time to make my favorite salad. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another product test. This time we want to check out the Kitchen Ideas 14 Pieces Veggie Slicer. Hey, are you looking for a vegetable chopper for all of your food preparation needs ranging from slicing, dicing, and everything in between? Well, check out this vegetable chopper that's available on Amazon for right around look at $16. You can apply this coupon. There are so many different attachments and it's easy to clean. I can't wait to use this because I do a lot of cooking myself. Pretty excited to use this. Now, this is actually a good price for right around $15 with the coupon applied has a lot of different functions, 14 in one in the set. Oh wow, look at all everything in here. Wow, ranging from grater to slicer, peeler, egg separator. Wow, I've never owned an egg separator before. I'm kind of excited to use it. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. All jam packed inside this box. Oh wow. All right, so straight out of the box, there are 14 pieces. The material is made of BPA and PTFE free plastic along with stainless steel attachments for the blades. So let's go ahead and take a look at the user's guide. There are all the 14 components. So you have all these attachments along with the top part and the holder and the tray. That counts as a piece each. All right. And in case you want for detailed um, info about the Attachments, you have the dicing blades, different sizes, along with the graders, all right? And also the slicer with the wavy slicer, peeler, and egg separator. I've never used egg separator before. So what the egg separator is, is separates the egg white from the egg yolk. Pretty nifty, huh? All right, so here it is. Here's the tray, gray plastic, and here's clear plastic for the holder and for the top. Okay, so you got a handle right here, and here is one of the attachments already installed. And let me just show you a quick how to install this one. All right, so what you want to do is uh, the blade should be on the bottom, um, so you can see the size on top. See, it goes on like this. Okay, and you would use a vegetable slice like that. All right. Okay, so let me attach it on here. All right, let's say if I want to uh, like a grater or something like this. Once again, I believe that should be the top. Hold on. It's kind of hard to tell which is the top, which is the bottom. Um, but usually if there's a word, should be on the top, okay? All right, and I'm gonna lift this up. And if I wanna change the attachment, I will just insert it like this, okay? And, see? And you would put like a potato or some type of vegetable right here and apply the force down, press it down. So let's go ahead and get to using it. So I actually discovered that this goes on the bottom. The lower end with the bevel, that goes on the bottom. So you don't get it uh, oriented in the wrong direction. See, the bottom one with the tab always goes on the bottom surface. Oh yeah, the bottom also features a non-slip design so it doesn't slip when you're using it, especially on a wet surface. All right, so welcome to my kitchen. I have some green pepper, red potato, onion, and cucumber, and some hard boiled eggs already boiled. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, raw eggs, but see simply, if you just crack an egg, separate the white from the yolk, and the hose will leave the yolk on top and the egg white draining. 
All right, so it's simple like that. So that takes care of one. All right, so here is what they call, this is the uh, retainer, all right? So it's got a spike, so be careful right here, it's sharp. So what you wanna do is uh, put like a vegetable, let's say for example, this uh, red potato on here, okay? And then what I'm going to do is to, um, by the way, this is a cheese grater. I don't have any cheese, so this is basically you just run the cheese over it and it gives you a little cheese uh, strings, all right? All right, so I'm going to use this, uh, let's use this one of these graters right here. Put this down here. So here I am going to um, use this for this grating, all right? So here we go. And let's see what that produces. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I should have pressed harder. So it makes like those uh, ripple chips. That's what it looks like. Okay, next, I'm just gonna use the peeler. Something very simple. Uh, peeling, let's see how sharp this blade is. Oh yeah, that's good. Be careful your hands. Put in the red potato. It works decent. It works decent. All right, let's go ahead and replace this blade. Let's go ahead and use this blade right here. This is like a slicer. So um, let's go ahead and do this right here. So whatever it slices, it falls in. And we have some thin slices of potato. Next up, I have a three millimeter grater. Ah! Oh, this makes like thin potato chips or french fries. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful right there. I can see myself using more of that, but maybe a little bit thicker one. So I can use it with my air fryer. Air fried french fries. And here's the thicker, four millimeter grater. See, again, I'm using the same potato. Oh yeah. So here are the thicker fries versus the skinnier fries. It's barely noticeable. And lastly, we have this uh, one millimeter blade. Let's see what this, Gives me probably thicker slices of, whoops, fell out. Look how beautiful that is, wow. Of course you want thicker one, press down harder on each press slide. Now I'm switching over to the white onion and also the dicing blade. This is the 11 by 11 millimeter dicing blade, so you have to ensure that you cut your vegetable or your fruit into a smaller section so it fits inside the periphery right here so it's a square i have here onion already um, cut up and it fits inside the periphery so let's go press it down probably wanted to be a little bit thinner too here you see the white onion dice tea yeah, I definitely recommend uh, probably smaller than what I did because after all, it is made of plastic. It's not made of metal, so you don't want to break it. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna switch over to the six by six millimeter dicing blade. Little squares, so you get little uh, bits of goodness. Goes on easily like that. And I have some green pepper, kind of really cut up. Do you look at that little cube, <laughs> cubes of green pepper? Man, this would be perfect for like a in a pizza. So here are all everything that I cut, cut up, diced up, sliced up with all the attachments. Look at that, so much variation. And it's perfect for a home chef or culinary student preparing your favorite fruits or vegetables in different variations that goes on different dishes.
And check this out. It even has a self-cleaning uh, button. See this button right here? If ever, there's food ever gets stuck right here, you press it down and it helps press it and release the stuck food. Very awesome design. Wow. Hold on. I must try the cucumber too. I'm in the mood for some cucumber slices go into my salad. So I have this big slicing blade right here. For something long like this, like a zucchini or cucumber, you don't need to use this holder attachment. See, like you do for something short because you don't want to accidentally cut your hand. Wow, look at how beautiful that came out. Ooh, this would be perfect for making uh, pickled vegetables. Like, oh yes, pickles, of course. Wow, we just look at how beautiful this turned out. All different type of variations, dicing, slicing, pressing. So many variations that I can make my food and meals a lot more exciting. Make your salads a lot more exciting too. I really like the design because you have all these different attachments that you use. It makes an awesome present for those of you uh, who are culinary students or home chefs, especially during this pandemic quarantine time. It's a perfect time to improve on your culinary skills or uh, yeah, a great, good way to teach children too. And it definitely saves a lot of time in the preparations. You just have to be careful that you make sure you cut it into smaller pieces because after all this is made of plastic because you don't want to eat something too big because you don't want to break the product. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I think you guys will like it too. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Stay safe out there and eat healthy. Take care of yourselves.